हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मै चैनल आई एम रोहिणी हरिदास वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट मौलाना मुख्तार अहमद नदवी टेक्निकल कैम्पस मालेगाव टूडे इन धीस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ बकॉल्स रिले लेटस सी द ऑब्जेक्टिव फर्स्ट वन इज टू डिस्कस द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर against internal fault to study the working principle of bacall's relay to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of bacall's relay and these are the some outcomes after watching this video the learner will able to explain the incipient faults in the transformer describe the working principle of bacall's relay tell the advantages and disadvantages of bacall's relay now let us discuss some basics of the bacall's relay basically it is a gas actuated relay meaning is that gas formation causes the relay to operate and it is used to provide the protection against the incipient fault in case of oil fill transformer fitted with conservator having the rating above 750 kva it is generally uneconomical to use the bacall's relay for the transformer having the rating less than 750 kva now what do you mean by incipient fault incipient faults are nothing but the slow developing fault such as insulation failure of winding core heating fall of oil level due to leaky joints etc now you can see in the diagram the bacall's relay is usually installed in the pipe connecting the conservator to the main tank and it takes the shape of dome vessel now let us see the construction details of the bacall's relay as i discussed earlier it takes the form of dome vessel placed in the connecting pipe between main tank and the conservator it has two elements the first one is upper element and it consists of mercury type switch attached to fluid the upper element closes the alarm circuit during incipient fault or less severe fault please note down this point the upper element closes an alarm circuit during less severe fault or you can say incipient fault and the second element is lower element it consists of mercury switch mounted on the hinge type flap located in the direct path of the flow of the oil from transformer to conservator the lower element closes the trip circuit in case of severe internal fault again you note down lower element closes the trip circuit in case of severe internal fault let us revise the main elements of the bacall's relay the first one is the upper element which consists of mercury type switch attached to a fluid and it closes an alarm circuit during less severe fault the second element is the lower element which consists of mercury switch mounted on a hinge type flap and it closes the trip circuit in case of severe internal fault to disconnect from the supply before discussing the actual working principle of bacall's relay let us see the working of tilt mercury switch it is an electrical switch that opens and closes a circuit when a small amount of liquid metal that is mercury connects the metal electrodes to close the circuit now let us see figure number 1 in figure 1 the tube is in the horizontal position that is there is no electrical connection between the metal ball and the electrodes and therefore the circuit is open now you refer the second figure when the tube gets tilted what happens the ball will touch the conductive poles and makes the switch to turn on this is the working of tilt mercury switch now look at figure number 
to have the better understand the working of this mercury switch. Now let us discuss the operation of the Buckwall's relay. In the construction part itself, we have seen that there are two elements. The first one is the upper element which closes the alarm circuit in case of less severe fault and second one is the lower element which closes the trip circuit of the circuit breaker in case of severe internal fault. Now to have the better understanding let us consider two cases differently. So case one that is less severe fault. So obviously which part will operate that is the upper part. So let us see when the incipient fault occurs that is the slow developing fault for example overheating what will happen it will produce the heat in the main tank of the transformer and because of that heat there is a decomposition of some transformer oil. The products of the decomposition contains more than 70% of the hydrogen gas. As the hydrogen gas is light in weight and therefore it will try to move towards the conservator without disturbing the flap which is present in the lower section. In that process the gas get trapped in the upper part of the relay and when a sufficient amount of gas accumulates then it exerts the pressure on the fluid and because of this pressure the fluid tilt down and therefore it closes the contacts of the mercury switch attached to it. As the contacts of the mercury switch gets closed it completes the alarm circuit and it will give an alarm. Now please refer the diagram to have the better understanding of previously discussed phenomena. To avoid the confusion here I hide the lower part as there is no role of lower part in case of less severe fault. Okay? So when the incipient fault that is less severe fault occurs in the transformer it will produce what heat. Because of the heat what will happen the transformer oil will decompose and the products of the decomposition contains what 70% of the hydrogen gases and hydrogen gases are very light in nature so they move directly to the upper part of the chamber without disturbing the flap that is the lower part okay when a predetermined amount of gas accumulated then it will exert a sufficient pressure on the fluid you see in the diagram what will happen the fluid tail downside and it will close the contacts of the mercury switch attached to it as the contacts of the mercury switch gets closed it will complete the alarm circuit and it will give the alarm signal. Now let us consider the case 2 that is the severe fault. So which part will operate obviously it is the lower part. Now let us consider when the severe fault occurs in the transformer for example short circuit. What will be the result? An enormous amount of gas is generated in the main tank. So not only the gases but also the oil present in the main tank will start moving towards the conservator via Buckholz relay. Please remember in case of less severe fault only gases will travel from main tank to conservator but in case of severe fault not only the gases but also the oil present in the main tank will start moving towards the conservator via Buckholz relay. So when oil enters into the relay it will hit the flap present in front that is the flap present in the lower part. So what will happen the flap will tilt and because of this it ultimately tilts the mercury switch which is attached to the flap and hence the contacts of the mercury switch gets closed and it completes the trip circuit and the circuit breaker will trip the circuit from the main supply. 
please look at the figure to have the better understanding of previously discussed phenomena. To avoid the confusion, again here I hide the upper part. Okay. So, when the severe fault occurs in the transformer, what will happen? It will produce the enormous gases and the not only the gases but also the oil present in the main tank will travel towards the conservator tank and while doing so it will heat the flap present ok so you see in the figure the flap get tilt and therefore the mercury switch which is attached to that flap also get tilt so what is the result it will close the contacts and the trip circuit will get completed and thus it will send the signal to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker will trip the circuit from the supply. Now the advantages. It is the simplest form of transformer protection. It detects the incipient fault at a stage much earlier than is possible with other forms of the protection. And what are the disadvantages? It can only be used with oil immerse transformer equipped with the conservator tanks and the device can detect only fault below the oil level. This is the reference. If you like this video then please share and subscribe. Thank you.